hello and welcome to this tutorial today we'll create this model here in FreeCAD and we'll use these dimensions here to create this model in FreeCAD so we create new file and we go to part designer bench create body create sketch in xplane and here go to sketch geometries and select this rectangle tool and draw the sketch here now select this polyline tool and draw the sketch and next select this string tool and trim this line here select this horizontal constraint tool constraint this line and now this point to this origin point now select this symmetric constraint tool and constrain these points to this line Okay, so now we'll give dimensions to this sketch. So here in this page we see we see this dimension 20, 15, okay, 45, 60, and okay, let's do that. First we select this vertical distance tool, and here we set 20. We set the distance between these two points 15. Next, we select this horizontal tool distance, and here we set sixth. Here, this dimension, and in these points, these dimensions. Okay, so now close this sketch, press home, and go to this pad tool, and check these options, map to plane, and here we change to. The ball of the pad is 100 foot, we can see here. So we change here to 100 foot and we close this dialog. And next we select this face here and create new sketch. Select this tool and extract this edge here. Select this pole line tool and draw this sketch. Okay, and next select this math constraint tool and constrain these two points to this line. And here in this page we see this dimension for for this line here. And we see this distance. So we come back to this model and first we select this horizontal distance tool and here we set this dimension and select this vertical distance tool and we change this distance to this dimension and next close this sketch. Okay, go to model and select the sketch. Go to pad tool. Check this option, reverse it. Okay, so the value of this pad for this part is, is this dimension, night. So here we change to this dimension and then click OK. And next we select this sketch here, make this sketch visible and make this pad visible. Select this sketch and click on mouse and go to attachment editor. OK, here we want to move this sketch. So let's see the dimensions here in this page. So okay, our sketch in the is is here. So here we have this dimension here, and we have this ninth. So here in z duration, we'll set minus one hundred forty plus ninth. And then click OK. And now make this pad visible, space bar. And now click in this icon to refresh this drink. Hide this sketch. OK. And now select this face and create new sketch. Select the cycle tool and draw this cycle. 
okay here in this page we see this diameter and this diameter for this rod so we come back to this model and we select this tool here and we constrain the diameter of this circle to this dimension and next we set the vertical distance to sixth and close this and now we select the sketch here ring click on mouse and go to attachment editor and here we change the value of z duration so here we see that we have this 100 to the pad of this cycle here and we have this dimension 90 so here we'll change the z duration to 5 click ok and select the sketch select this pad tool check this option reverse it and here we change to 100 and then click ok and next we create new sketch select this icon we create the sketch in yz plane okay here we use this tool here to extract this edge and this edge and this edge now switch to section view and select this polyline tool and draw this sketch here okay so now let's see the dimension for the sketch in this page we see we see the height of this line here is 26 so we come back and select this vertical distance tool and here we set 26 and then click close go to pad tool and here we see the value of the pad is 10 so check this option symmetric to plane and then click ok and next we select this face here and go to this wall tool and here we set the depth for okay through goal and this diameter to 20 okay so we are having this problem so here we go to this face, select this face and go to this wall tool and here we change to triangle this diameter to 20 now you can see this wall so click ok and now create a new sketch in this yz plane switch to section view and use this tool to extract this edge here okay go to sketch geometers and here we select this tool here round the rectangle and we draw this sketch then here in this page we see these ridges for this fillet we see this dimension here and this distance okay so we come back here and first we select this tool and we constrain the radius of this arc to 10 and then select this horizontal distance tool and here we set the distance between these two points to 15 and we select these two points and set 65 okay and now select this vertical distance tool and constrain the distance here to 15 okay and next we close this sketch go to this pocket tool and here we set true goal and here symmetric to plane so now we see this pocket So click OK and next, next we create a new sketch in YZ plane again and here we use this tool to extract this edge and switch to section view and here we select this slot tool and we draw the slot 
okay in this in this page we see we see a range of one for for the fillet of the slot and you see this distance okay and this distance so first we select this constraint and we constrain this arc to one millimeters and then select this horizontal distance tool and here we set here we set this formula okay so the distance is 10 millimeters then select this vertical distance tool and here we set 12 okay and the distance here is 4 now close this sketch and go to pocket tool and here we set throw wall and symmetric to plane and then click ok now select this tool here no select this operation and go to this linear pattern tool and and here we'll change the length and the number of occurrence so the length here is is 120 And here we set 20. Okay. So now we have these walls. So click OK. And now you can see that this model is complete. So thank you guys for watching this video.